negative indices. A negative power is when the index has a negative in front of it. And we're going to learn how to deal with those. And we're going to start with an expression that will get a negative power, x cubed divided by x to the 5. If I use index law 2, the division of terms with the same base, then I know that we subtract the base, the, the powers, the indices, and x to the 3 take away 5 is x to the power negative 2. That's great. But if I do this in expanded form, x to the 3 divided by x to the 5, because we always do a division as a fraction unless there's a very good reason not to. And if I then cancel any common factors, dividing x by itself would leave me with 1 up the top. This is 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. This is 1 times 1 times 1 times x times x, which leaves me with 1 over x squared. These are both perfectly acceptable ways of answering this question. One is using index laws, which we know are right. One is using expanded form, which we know is right. The only possible answer is that x to the negative 2 is the same as 1 over x to the positive 2. This is the rule of negative indices. A negative power is equal to its positive reciprocal. Reciprocal meaning flipping a fraction because x to the power negative 2 is obviously over 1. Now how we write that algebraically for our rules? x, that's not an x, x to the negative m is the same as 1 over x to the positive m. And if I had 1 over x to the negative m, that would be the same as x to the positive m. Because this would be over 1. It's the flip. It's the reciprocal. This is how this rule works. Now, it takes a little bit of thinking to get our head around some of the subtleties here. We'll do some examples and I'll talk about some possible traps that we might find, fall us, ugh, find ourselves falling into. The type of question you'll often get asked is to write using positive indices. x to the negative 2, we know that one. If it helps, we remember that this is over 1. I have a negative power and that any negative power is its positive reciprocal. Take the reciprocal, flip the fraction, and change the power to a positive. One over a to the negative three. Flip my fraction and make the negative power positive. Another way of looking at it is x to the negative 2 is the same as 1 divided by x to the 2, or x squared. Where it can feel like it gets a little complicated is when we have a coefficient of the pronumeral. And actually, in these cases, we still had a coefficient. It was just 1. Honestly, the easiest way to do this is to use working to support your understanding. I know half of you aren't going to do this, but it would be a really intelligent thing to do. Separate this out. This means 3 times z to the negative 2. Write it as that. 3 times 
z to the negative 2. Because then you can see quite clearly that this is the negative index. This is the thing that can be changed to its positive reciprocal. And then that new fraction gets multiplied by 3. If we are being very careful, we remember that this is over 1. If we're multiplying by a fraction, we can say, hey, this is over 1 as well. Take your positive reciprocal. We will have 3 times 1 over z squared. If you're not certain about a whole number times a fraction, this is 3 over 1. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times z squared is z squared. By separating it out, you've really supported yourself to work out that the 3 ends up on the top and the z squared ends up on the bottom. This is not 1 over 3z squared. The only thing that gets taken as a positive reciprocal is the negative index itself. This is where you're most likely to mess up, is that many people are going to come away with the idea that any negative can be moved up and down in a fraction by taking away the negative. It can't. Negative 3 over x I can't move that negative 3. It's not a negative index. If I took another example, uh, 1 over negative 3, I can't say, hey, that's the same as the positive reciprocal. I can't say that's the same as 3. I can't take that up to the top. Negative 1 third is not the same as 3. It's just not. This is a serious dead fairy error. If you make this error, I will not be happy. You cannot just move negatives around. You can only use this because of the negative index law. And only the negative index gets to be the thing that moved. The term with a negative power. If I had written that as 3z to the power negative 2, then sure, 1 over the thing with the positive index, but it's only the term that has the negative power that gets to go changing to a positive reciprocal. Please be very, very careful. These are your rules. This will need extra study.